The wedding bells were ringing on one moonlight winter night. The church was decorated all around, was clear and bright. A woman with her baby came and saw the lights aglow. She remembered how those same bells chimed for her three years ago. I'd like to be admitted, sir, she told the sexton bold, just on account of baby to protect him from the cold. This wedding is not for the poor, but for the rich and grand. So with the eager watching crowd, outside you'll have to stand. She begged the sexton once again to let her pass inside. For baby's sake you may step in, the gray-haired man replied. Has anyone a reason why this couple should not wed? Speak now or hold your peace forever, soon a preacher said. I must object, the woman cried, in voice so meek and mild. The bridegroom is my husband, sir, and this our little child. What proof have you, the preacher said, my infant, she replied. She held it up, then knelt to pray, the little one had died. The parents of the bride then took the outcast by the arm. A home have you through life, said they, you saved our child from harm. The bride and parents outcast wife then quickly drove away. The husband died by his own hand before the break of day. No wedding feast was spread that night, two graves were made next day, one for the little baby, and in one the father lay. This story has been oft retold by far side, warm and bright, of the wasted life of the outcast wife. That fatal wedding night